I called you. Because of the salt? Yeah. <laughs> and I definitely need to do a better than average, you know, clean to get all this shit off. Oh yeah, we'll get it. Wow, it's like caked on there, like. You want it? Oh, cool, I've never noticed before. What do you got? Look at my straps, my fuel straps. My tank is not slid. This is just from wind. Just the wind kept this is it from getting on right there. Right there, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this thing is really trashed, huh? Yeah. The salt is real, man. As a leader, we got just the stuff to get all this up here. Yeah. We got everything we need. It's hard to believe it was the same truck that's been in here before, but there's one cross member left in it. Yeah. It was up on wood blocks. <clears throat> Cab was off, hood was off, every single hose was out. It was just steel. It was just two steel. The, the frame rails and one cross member in the rear end. So this got a complete rebuild, Everything. huh? Wow. And it wasn't supposed to be like that, but. You like it. <clears throat> I like it. You're, yeah, you're rolling around here feeling pretty good. I'm out here feeling great. <laughs> I'm just out here feeling broke as hell. Yeah. Let me see the inside, man. How does it look now? Good, it's the same interior. I, oh, yeah. I did take everything off. We rebuilt the hinges, the latches, all this. Stuff. I mean, that already broke off just because of fucking <laughs> yeah. shit happens. Yeah. Earl, he lined all the doors up, like everything, like shuts. Oh yeah. He did both sides. I soundproofed everything. It was, it was never soundproofed. Um, That's cool, man. Fixed a bunch of little things that were, you know, I got air conditioning, did the chrome column. Yeah. Did the chrome clutch, all new foot brake valve, everything. Like everything underneath it is like, that's hard to get to because yeah. the cab was on a pallet. We picked wow. the cab up. I mean, it was like everything. You guys Put, went literally it, all yeah, the way. It was way. like, dude, I'll show, I'll send you some pictures later. Was, I would love to see it, man. He needled the whole entire frame. Really? Inside and out, sandblasted it. So um, what year is this again? 87. 87, okay. Yeah. I put an electronic speedo and tachometer in a brand new 18 speed. That's super cool. Um, the motor. This is one of my favorite trucks. I mean, for more uh, more than just the reasons of the blue and red, man. Yeah. I love that. I mean, those we are the colors the for shade. me. You'll see when it's clean, it's dark. I don't know if you remember the last one. Yeah, it looks bright. a little darker. It's yeah. darker, and this is gray. Not yep. cream and the red, everything is a little darker. Like everything was painted apart before we put it back together. Like you can tell, like this is just only on the uh, underneath the salt, this is a nice fresh frame. It's got to be killing you to see all the salt all over this it work. It really isn't, you know, honestly, everyone's, everyone says that, but I'm just, I know the truck was working, so yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, well. That's a good perspective. Man. I know I'll clean it. We sure will. We're not yeah. gonna mess around on that. We're gonna get this thing all the way. We don't even need to mint nothing because, like I said, it's gonna be probably by the time I get back to South, like, there's gonna be dust in the rims. But well, you done. you do mitt wash your trailer, don't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh yeah. For what I paid for this thing, yep. Yeah. This is a new one. I don't know if you've seen this one yet. I don't think I have actually. Yeah, I got a ton of lights on it. It's got disc brakes. It's got this is a lift axle. The other one didn't pick up. Boy, oh boy. It's nice to have doors that shut like they're supposed to. Yeah. Like, no kidding, man. When I had this thing the first time, I couldn't even use a passenger door. I couldn't even be so jacked up it wouldn't even open. Wow. Hey, New springs. You know, the whole, all the spring packs and everything. Yeah. Shocks, airbags. Um, wow. Power steering, pump, that's new. He cleaned the firewall up. Anything wow. that it doesn't need to be here was gone, is eliminated. So everything that you see is, uh, is serving a purpose. Because no I hate kidding. excess, you know, I don't like. Well, that's a good way to be. Yeah. We'll do the touchless wash and then we'll get you coated with snake oil. This right here, bro. This is a gallon of stars to create a five gallon pail of ready to use pre-soak for our touchless wash. Hmm. So we've got this pail here filled up mostly with water. Let's take this thing here. Well, done. Throw the lid on it, give it a little shake. Some of the ingredients will take a few minutes to, uh, to dissolve in, but that's it, man. The foam quality on beta two wasn't very good, so we're trying to amp that up a little yep. bit. And we'll see if, uh, see if today we get a little bit better foam out of this. What's nice about this is now you can just top off your foam cannon and you don't have to measure anything. So that's just ready to fill the cannon. I'm not big on measuring. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> yeah, measuring Eyeball. takes time and we're trying, to, we're trying to save that. Oh, did you see the new lettering? What do you think of that? Dude, I like it. Charlie Decker. Yeah. One arm bandit. No kidding. Shout out Charlie. That looks really nice. <clears throat> we made this like neon. I, I like couldn't that. get enough of that. We did the same thing with the two and her name down there. Yeah. Um, There's nothing like an authentic, actual hand painted, you know, bunch yeah, of details. Yeah, he, he right? laid everything out like sten like this is like squared, stenciled. He had the angle is like, it looks like a machine did it. Yeah. And the dude's got what he does with one arm. That's amazing. Yeah, he was freaking killer. And I wanted, you know, I was specific. I wanted every font different, like the old, like they used to do back in the day. And, yeah. And this came out like, you know, the colors are, it, when you write it on paper, like pink, orange, tan, whatever, 
is it gonna go with red, white, and blue? But I think it, I love it. I like it, it's different. Yeah, it's definitely nice. Wow. Yeah, well, let's top off our foam cannons. We'll get this thing going. It's been sitting for 10 minutes. I think it's in there. So we're gonna do a touchless wash for Alex because he's covered in salt, and this stuff's gonna reach in better than we can with a mitt. Alex is more of a mitt man than a touchless wash man. He likes to take it 100%, you know? But if we take it 90%, then that last 10% should be a little easier. And at least this stuff will get in there and neutralize any salt that's in there and in our way. Also, you know, it just helps uh, minimize the risk of scratching stuff. Yeah, so you see in there, we still have like some solids, but that's okay. Those will dissolve down as time goes on, but this is 10 minutes in, so it's still kind of breaking down some of the ingredients. This should be a really huge short, shortcut, because now you have that little bottle that will shock a whole five gallon pail full of usable material for a foam cannon, or a power washer. So a foam cannon or a downstream power washer injector, like a normal power washer injector, both draw at about the same ratio. So this would work for a normal power washer tube if you have a pickup tube coming out of your machine already. Now if you had like our fancier injectors that cut the soap for you, then this wouldn't be the solution for that. This is more for standard power washers and foam cannons. Should be a great solution because now we can offer packs of like five gallon refills and then you just keep the pails you have. They'd be labeled up, ready to go with the valves you have. And my goal is to streamline the shipping costs and the potential for leaks or damage in shipping, you know? So it's a pretty cool solution. I'm excited for it. And by pre-mixing this like that, you don't have to measure in here. So it saves you time. As you refill, you don't have to measure anything or worry about nothing. Let's find out how they work though. Alex is over there nervous about the soap. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, what are you going to do to I'm my truck? i the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> burn through a whole bottle of that. Just gotta shock this neutral and we'll start rinsing. Here we go, you ready? Yeah. One thing I'm really excited about is that We've always struggled with the foam quality on our second step, but we finally fixed it with these powdered versions. Which is strange, right? Look how crazy that moment. It's absolutely amazing. This stuff is safe on polish, but just to be safe, we're gonna start rinsing on the wheels and the tank and the grill. Just to make sure that nothing happens, you know.
making sure that the aluminum doesn't have anything dry on it. I did assure him that we'll polish anything that doesn't look right. <laughs> soap than I probably should have just because I was enjoying how much this was foaming so much. <laughs> I can't believe that we actually got stripes better with this powder solution. Let's see if this is a little less solids in this now that it's been, what do you think it's been 20 minutes probably, 25 minutes? Yeah. So I don't see any more of those solids in there. So I would say about 20 minutes is how long it takes to fully dissolve. Now this one we had already blended it up. Um, this is beta two for stripes because uh, I think this one's done. Inside the frame rail from right here, right? You ready? We're gonna snipe it. Oh, I didn't know. So we go back to where we started, and then we start the second step on this side. Here we go. about this mezzo valve. You know, you can just switch between your two cannons real quick without unhooking anything, but the main thing is that it sits nice when you put it down. Right, come on, you have to put it down, <laughs> put your rinse lance on there, and that thing sits perfect. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> Seriously though, like if you just plant it you know, like halfway decent, it'll stay there. And then you don't have to reach all the way to the ground, just pick it up nicely. That's one perk about this valve that I, I really do like. All right, same routine. We're gonna rinse all the polished things first.
thing that sucks about doing like one side at a time is you always get overspray onto the first side again. So you have to like kind of give it a quick rinse. What do you think so far? It's impressive as hell. It looks like I can't leave you to touch it. It's pretty, well, for, I mean, while it's wet, it's gonna look fantastic, yeah. but, you know, like I can see right now that we've got some, some film on this fender a little bit still, and like, you know, little things like that. But in general, what a shortcut, right? And what the oh, perk wow. is, the perk is that you're getting into all of that without, you know, I mean, you can't really get in as far as That's the, the thing, in. yeah, like I never could soap in there. Right, so this is helpful when you get into all that. I'm really happy about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the goal is not to destroy your aluminum, so we're gonna have to look at it. Do you think that your grill is looking the same as it was before? Is this drying? This looks great. This will actually look shinier. It's still got that film of water on it. And it's hard to tell too because it's getting direct sunlight through that door. Right. And it did take on some damage from the salt, but no, it looks really good, better than I thought. I don't see any streaks. So I, normally if it was soap that damaged something, you would see it in, you know, you'd see it running off these buttons here. Like, yeah, no, I don't see any streaks. I don't see any of that going on, so that's good news. It looks like it did before I drove up in the salt. Yeah, but we can, we'll hit that with our polish prototype just to get it all blinging for you. Yeah, I'm excited. I'd like to see how you like it anyway. I need to get your thoughts. I was telling Tyler, if we do a good enough job, maybe we don't have to mitt wash it. <laughs> hey, you know, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, going out into the weather we're having the rest of this week, yeah. this, is, this is kind of a... Uh, it's like, why bother? I know it's well, gonna, I'm going to be frustrated. You know what we could do? Why don't we use the awesome sauce with a drying towel when we're done as a drying aid, and that also lubricates the surface, and the towel cleans it like a mitt. Okay. Sound interesting. Yeah. We've got these big drying cloths. We can use them on the fenders and like the, the whole thing if you want. Let's, yeah, let's be, try that. I'll be texting you next week to get washed cranky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually like to get more of your thoughts because these, the, these are all the prototypes I'm working on right now. So I, I'm, I could actually use your input. Yeah. This is our metal polish. So you have to shake it yep. and, uh, and spray it. It's a sprayable. Oh. Yeah, That's so it's, it's different. We like to be weird. <laughs> We've got our interior cleaner cart here we're working on. These are degreasers, these are tire shines, these are iron removers. And then there's a laundry list of other ones that aren't even out here. It's just, this is what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to select my favorite bottle type. We're trying to figure out like what's nice. You know, we use these right now. Mm -hmm. and they're a little wide. I think my favorite is this style. It's called a Cosmo bottle. There's still 32 ounces, but it's narrower and taller, so it fits your hand better. And this sprayer is much more three finger than two finger. You know, like my current sprayers are these little guys, yeah. and the bottle's kind of wide, and the cap's kind of, you know, the, the sprayer's kind of short. Which one do you like better? I agree, I like that. That's better, right? The advice I'll give you, because I've been through a lot of stuff, is yeah. get whatever's durable, because all of the people that are going to use this are going to put it in our toolbox. Right, it's going to bang around. It's going to bang around. So we need to make sure that liquids don't leak out when it's on its Leak out, yeah. Out. I keep mine in the cab under yep. my passenger seat, but when I get a bunk on it, I'm going to put it somewhere else. But I usually, yep. long story short, it goes in like a crate, like a plastic crate. Okay. And that's going to bounce. Yeah. And if, it, if I put it in that box, it's going to bounce. The world of sprayers is a little limited yeah. on options. This is like all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
hook up our snake oil out back so that it can run through here. What is it, Kona? Is there somebody at the door? I think she's trying to tell us something, though. I'm ready. I'm just gonna check out and inspect the work. What do you think, Kona? On it. Uh, touchless wash check. Salt removal check. It is funny how she checks out the whole fucking truck. It is. So now that we got it all clean, now we can put our snake oil sealant on there. This coating will last Alex the rest of the winter, and it'll help him protect his truck from the salt, which is obviously an issue. There's a lot of salt going on in this thing we came in. So let's see if this foam nozzle works. I hooked up snake oil out back. This should inject it at 100 to 1. Alex normally uses a chamois, and we normally use a drying towel. We'll have a race. I don't want to make it look bad, but yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, you ready? On no, this mark. is this is for speed, or this is for... This is for getting it right. Okay, on your mark, go. How are you looking over there? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did you do? That's why I'm trying to show you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't done yet. I can do it faster, I can do it right. You can do it right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it hard. They make some giant ones. <laughs> if I were a superhero, I should just put like a chain right here and just wear this all the time. You're gonna clean the other side of your truck from here. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Back in the cab and the roof. <laughs> yeah, man. Did I miss a spot? I don't think so, actually. A little extra drying aid. Never hurt nobody. The only problem with this towel is it's so big that, like, <laughs> it's kind of unwieldy. It's too big. <laughs> I only got it because it was the most absurdly huge one. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta get that. I can't not get that. You're a detailer. I am not a detailer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. <laughs> That's way too large. That's why I figured the 20 by 40 is a little bit more appropriate. Being this large too, it's likely to drag on the ground, which I don't really want. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I gotta get one of these before I leave. Oh, well, you got that one. Oh, alright. You got yourself a free chamois today, Bob. <laughs> We're totally cheating on the touchless results because this is going to make the truck perfect. Once you get like a, a big microfiber like this and some uh, nice uh, spray like uh, SAO2 spray in there and you dry it off, you're just basically making it really, 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 really good looking. And you won't see any road film or anything like that. There'll be nothing left over when we're done with this process. Alex was asking if we had smaller ones, so I figured why don't we turn this into two. 
I'm curious what's inside here anyway. This is gonna take a half an hour. <laughs> oh, I got a technique down. There you go. There you go. Mm. All right, we got two. There you go. Thank you. How about it? Yeah, you were traveling a little bit. What are you talking about? That's perfectly square. <laughs> 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 that looks straight to me. Yeah, Come on. Not bad, not bad. Perfect. You have like a microfiber material in between. And I'm sure that the way this works is that these absorb in and this just holds the moisture way inside so you can keep going longer. It's gotta be, right? That's gotta be the science of it. But we've got, they're available in 12 by 12. I just don't, I don't sell that size. No more salt. No. Nothing. Was this truck? Yeah. Wow. We didn't touch it. We didn't, well, we did when we dried it. Oh yeah. We but, cheated on the drying. Yeah. If we hadn't dried it, we could really see what we did with the touchless wash. But I think it came out really good. So I think we did it, man. Oh, it looks. Dude, it's good to see you, you again. You too. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah.